Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and if it's free, will it sound any good? Well, today we're going to answer that question as we go into the Spitfire Labs. Okay, so let's get started, and uh, first we're going to just go to Spitfire Audio's website and if you're not familiar with Spitfire Audio, I guess you would call them the Rolls Royce of sample libraries. They just have done an incredible job over the years bringing beautiful content. It's not for the faint of heart, some of it, <laughs> as far as the price is. And so that's what's so amazing about their latest venture, Spitfire Audio Labs. This is going to be something that they're, they'll, they will release uh, different instruments over time, which are going to be absolutely free to use. It kind of gives you a little, uh, little taste of the Spitfire Audio process and the sound quality that is inherent in their other libraries. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how this works, and we'll, we'll play through a couple of things. And so first of all, you want to go to the uh, Spitfire Audio website, and you want to register an account. And you'll notice I've got something sitting here that's uh, really interesting. So the they, so the first two instruments they've come out with is the soft piano and strings free. And so you'll go to the labs tab here. It'll show you how to get started, but you, you need to download the Spitfire audio app. And so you can say, do you have it installed, yes or no? And I have it installed, but if you're a first time user, go ahead and click no, and it'll, it'll take you through the process of downloading that. So once you have that installed, this is what this looks like. Use your user account name, and, and this will have access to the products, the Spitfire Audio products that you have. You can tell this is not installed. I'm trying to get some hard drive space. So if somebody wants to send me a, a, a terabyte SSD or something, I'm just running out of space. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm just trying to figure out a way to install a, uh, Albion One, which uh, which is just, you know, I'm excited to get in on that. But here you see I've got soft piano and strings here and uh, they're installed. You can see it's installed. Uh, and uh, And so let's take a look. So I'm running uh, in uh, Cakewalk by BandLab. This is the latest version of Cakewalk by BandLab. And you can see I've already inserted these. First of all, when you install it, make sure you go through your plugin manager, do a scan. You know, you wanna make sure you scan all your plugins to make sure everything, you know, shows up in your menu. So, so let's look at the piano first. And uh, so this is such a cool, interface and what's what's interesting is that the company that designed the user interface are the same company that uh, designed uh, Monument Valley the the iOS uh, uh, game which uh, which is really a really cool uh, cool game I've played it several times but you can see the controls are very minimal and um, so you'll have you have volume here and then you have dynamics here and what this does uh, it limits the dynamic range. So if, if you're playing, if you're pl at, at all the way down to zero, if you play soft and loud, it's kind of like a, a scale. So it's like a dynamic range scaling parameter. So if you have it on zero, it's going to give you the full range of dynamics within the samples of the piano. So if you bring it all the way up to 100, no matter how hard or soft you play, it's going to sound the same. So let's take a listen. That's just beautiful.
So wow, wow, isn't that beautiful? And I, I muted the microphone so you can make sure that you heard all of the, um, what's going on in there. Um, and so I just want to talk you through uh, with the microphone unmuted so I can just kind of talk while I'm kind of playing. But the, the beauty of this is that it's, it has felt over the, I guess it's felt over the strings. It just kind of takes the edge. So it gives you a real intimate sound. Um, and this here, uh, this here, <laughs> you could, uh, my Kentucky showing, but uh, this here, <laughs> this control uh, is to adjust reverb. And in some of the other labs, as you'll see, this this will take on different functions. So when you click on that, it it, it exposes what parameter that we're working with. So um, it's at zero. So let's increase that. Take it down a little bit. And as you can hear, it, it evokes certain emotions in me, I guess, when I'm playing it. Um, just especially like that. That Pride and Prejudice theme uh, is just like, <laughs> it just has that in, it, that intimate sound, that soft sound. It still has a little attack, but it but it's it's very subtle. I mean, just beautifully, um, beautiful intimate sound here. And so let's just look at the uh, the dynamic range and. So it's at 100%, so no matter how hard. And you don't have the releases as. And so let's take it back down. Let's increase the reverb a little bit because see you lose a little bit of that decay uh, when you shorten the dynamics. know why I'm in a class it's it's like a, a Jane Austen type of uh, a Jane Austen type of mood I guess and this is I'm you I know mean, I'm hearing this I'm hearing this for the first time myself uh, as I'm playing for you so that's how I like it because I like I like for you to see my 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 initial uh, responses as I'm experiencing experiencing it along with you. Uh, it makes it a lot of exciting for me, and I hope it makes it exciting for you as well. Just to discover new sounds, new things. Um, yeah. So when you have the dynamics, it just makes it real staccato and and real you know. And the reverb sounds very nice. Um, and one thing is great about the labs is that here we have, we don't have it hosted in contact. This is a standalone Spitfire um, virtual instrument, which is great. So you don't have to, you don't have to have contact. You don't have to have a another, um, you know, sample host or whatever. So this kind of stands on its own, which is great. And I have it running as a VST3. Uh, here in uh, Cakewalk by Band Lab. Okay, so that's the piano. So I'm going to close this. So, but the strings, you get th you have three presets. So you have a short, uh, short preset, an ensemble preset, and a long preset. So 
uh, what the ensemble does is basically give you a combination of the short and long. So here are the short strings, and I'm going to once again mute the microphone and, and come back to you after we play some. Wow, pretty dramatic, pretty dramatic. So let's listen to some more. A lot different from a lot different than from the soft piano. Um, really aggressive, and, and I guess that's what uh, that's what I'm feeling when I'm playing that. It's just those real, real aggressive, sharp, uh, and you know, recorded beautifully. Uh, uh, and and you go on the Spitfire Audio's website, and you can see some of the background about some of the recording techniques used. Okay, let's try the tightness. And, I'm going to adjust this. And you can hear little, little nuances in the tunings and things. On the tightness control, uh, it's only available on the short preset. So this, this shapes how uh, the start times of the samples in the sections uh, begin. Have them loose. Uh, that is all the way over to to the left or you can ramp it all the way over here and the transients and the start times are going to be really tight together so uh, let's take a listen to see uh, to hear what that sounds like So I like it probably around 50%. You notice that you get some, you can get some really interesting sounds when you take it all the way over. And let's take it all the way back. Yeah, you can tell just little subtleties and that's, that's one of the keys with doing orchestral sample libraries is subtlety. Uh, just the least little bit of, of variance and subtleties actually create huge things in the context of your arrangement. And then the reverb, of course. Very nice reverb. Okay, let's go to the longs. One other thing I noticed about this library is the this, this stereo separation and how the samples, uh, the way they sampled the ensemble the way that you can hear the separation, you can hear how it's recorded. It's very spatial and and it's positional uh, with the different um, members of the string family because uh, you can hear you hear the violins, 
you hear the violins where they're supposed to be when you're listening to them, and you hear the 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 basses, and um, I hear the basses kind of like over here, and the and the violins over here, and then when you get to the violas and cellos, they start rolling around right in here. So it's like you're sitting right in the middle of a of the, the of the live string section. Now that's like a, I guess it's like an expression. Sometimes my mock wheel kind of, kind of jerks around. Um, and I'm using a foot controller too, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute the microphone and let's just kind of play around some. Amazing, amazing, wow. I mean, I mean, free, beautiful, beautiful library like this. I mean, they could they could be charging, you know, hundred dollars or whatever, and and it would be worth it. But this, you know, free. Uh, thank you, thank you. And let's go to ensemble. So ensemble will combine the short and long together. So you got the short. And see how that kind of pans across there? Yeah, and I hear the, I hear it over here, you know. And then the high strings. And you see a release here in these in these controls here. So what that does, that actually extends. And again, the ensemble is a combination between the shorts and longs and is determined by velocity. So let's take a listen at how the release parameter affects your playback.
So the release parameter is really good when you're wanting more legato sounding. So it kind of helps to connect phrases together. So that is Spitfire Labs. So it's just incredible what you can do um, with these with these two simple, uh, high quality, beautiful sounding, uh, free sample uh, libraries from Spitfire Audio. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if it's your first time here, please subscribe and click on your notifications. And so you'll always uh, be able to stay up to date on what we're doing here at praisetracks.com. And uh, we'll see you soon.